next option you're going to do is build periodically. So this is also something uh, similar to your cron entry. Like if you want to see a help, you can just see that. So the first star represents the minute, second star represents the hour, third star represents the day of the month, and fourth star is month and day of the week. Okay. So if I want it to run like uh, every day at 10 o'clock, uh, every 10 minutes on the first half of every day, that means it is going to run. So these are only a couple of examples you can see. So uh, this is something I have explained in the cron job of Kubernetes, right? The same thing. So for our testing, let us run this every two minutes. So the option will be star slash two, like star space, star, star space, star. If I give that, it is going to tell, okay? So the next run, last run was for 1.42 p.m. UTC, and the next run will be 1.44, okay? Let me save that. So I'm selecting build periodically, and this is the schedule I'm giving. So for our testing, I'm just going to give it like a, to run every two minutes. So let me save this and see what is happening. So 14 is my last build number. With within two minutes, I should see the build number 15 should have been started. So with this five stars, you are allowed to put your own schedule, like every day, every weekday, or every month I want it to run, all those things I'll be able to see. You can see like 144 is the schedule, build number 15 was created. So if I wait two more. If I wait two more minutes, another build will be started. Yeah, you can see like 1.46 p.m. UTC, the next build has started. So this is the use of a schedule. So it will not do any validation or the scheduled time, it is just going to trigger the job. So you can define your own schedule.